the following video is not endorsed by Too Many Games, Cinemassacre, or any fellow YouTubers that I meet during the making of this video. And welcome to a brand new episode of Lois's Adventures. I'm Lois, your host. In this episode, I'll be going to Too Many Games, a video game convention. There I hope to meet three of the many people who inspired this series. One of them in question is none other than James Rolfe and Mike Matei of Cinemassacre and Dan and Greg of Console Wars. I hope to meet and get an interview with these men for this video while checking out Too Many Games. Video games are also one of the many influences that inspire me to want to get out there and go on adventures for real. Okay, we've made it to Oaks and it's going to be a fun-filled day. Excuse me. After we arrived, my father and I walked through Hall A and the first guest I was able to run into was none other than Nathan Barnett, aka Keith Apicary, who was in need of help with setting up his tree setup at his booth, which myself and my father did do, and Nathan was nice enough to even give me pointers on becoming great and successful on YouTube. I think the best advice to doing becoming successful is just doing whatever you like. Because then people will see that you genuinely are interested in it and they'll see your joy coming out of your content and that's why they'll like it. So you just gotta do whatever you like and people will follow and they'll enjoy it. That's what I do. I just mess around and do nonsense and people seem to like it. Then afterwards, as we were looking for James to meet him, we end up running into Pat Contry, aka Pat the NES Punk, and then Norman Caruso, aka the gaming historian, who is with fellow YouTuber Pixel Dan. After the interview with um, Nathan, I was able to run into and meet Pat Contre, also known as Pat the NES Punk. Just like Nathan, he also was nice enough to give me advice on being a successful YouTuber as well. Here's the interview with Pat himself. Enjoy, everyone. 
Hi Pat, I'm Lewis and I'm making a video for my channel Lewis's Adventures and I have a few questions to ask you. No, okay, a few questions. Alright, what's your question? What is your favorite video game of all time? Oh, of all time? Oh man, that's tough. How about Super Dodgeball? Um, how did you become the game collector you're known as? Wow, um, I started collecting games in the late 90s, going to flea markets, and doing a lot of research online. Lastly, what advice can you give to people with disabilities like mine or even those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos? Uh, my general advice is just for anyone is just to do what you love and be very passionate about any artistic endeavor that you aspire to and only do it if it makes you feel good and you're happy doing it. Thank, thanks for allowing me a bit of your time it, for the interview. It was a pleasure. Sure. After the interview with Pat, I was able to meet Norman Caruso, also known as the Gaming Historian, another YouTuber who I also enjoy watching a lot. Just like the other two, he also gave me pointers on how to be successful on YouTube. Here's my interview with Norman. Everyone, enjoy. Um, how did you get into your informative content that you do on your channel? Well, I uh, was in college majoring in history, and I love video games, so I decided to combine the two. What is your favorite video game of all time? Earthbound. Um, lastly, what advice can you give to people with disabilities like mine or those with physical disabilities when it comes to making videos? Well, the uh, best advice I can give is to uh, be yourself and don't don't listen to any of the negativity and uh, just stay positive and do your best at making videos. Thank you for allowing me a bit of your time for the interview. It was You're a welcome. pleasure. You're welcome. Afterwards, we were briefly turned away, so we walked around a bit more before the lines got less crowded. I'm about to meet both James Rolfe, the man who plays characters like the Angry Video Game Nerd, to even bore James and Mike Matei. Unfortunately, I was not able to get an interview with um, James Rolfe, Mike Matei, or Dan and Greg, respectively, but I was able to meet them, and I have pictures of me with James and Mike, respectively, and they also signed my Sega CD, just like Norman did earlier in the day. Enjoy, everyone.
Well, today I was able to get this old relic signed. My Model 2 Sega Genesis, Model 2 Sega CD, and 32X attached to it. It was signed by Norman Caruso, James Rolfe, and Mike Matei. The Angry Video Game Nerd and the Gaming Historian, respectively. They were nice enough to sign this for me, and I thank them dearly from the kindness of my heart for signing this. I'll never forget that experience at all. As my day was complete, it was an experience that I will never forget, and I hope to come back in the future to do a sequel. Wow, it felt good to finally meet those people who were huge influences on me making videos, and I'll never forget this wonderful experience. If you liked this video, please hit the like button below, and be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and as I always say, it's time for adventure.